Abdulaziz Bouteflika was born to Algerian parents in a Morocco-bordered town in 1937. He excelled in school and at age 19 joined the armed wing of the National Liberation Front, a movement fighting for independence from France. After Algeria gained independence in 1963, Bouteflika became the country's youngest ever foreign minister at 25 years old. He held that post for 16 years and was active at the UN, becoming president of the General Assembly in the 70s. But for much of the 80s, Bouteflika was in exile, avoiding corruption charges that were later dropped. He returned home in the 90s as civil war raged between the National Army and armed opposition groups. Running for president in 1999, he was the only candidate left standing after six rivals pulled out in protest, saying the election was rigged by the army. Today the people of Algeria are voting to decide whether to endorse my political ideas or whether they want to return to their own miserable existence. I'm doing fine for myself. What they decide is up to them. Bouteflika won the election and managed to quickly bring stability to the nation, brokering peace between the warring sides. But as his rule went on, critics blamed him for economic stagnation, increased corruption and cronyism. After two terms in office, in 2008, he initiated the change in the constitution that scrapped term limits for presidents. Bouteflika was re-elected two more times, despite corruption scandals and health problems. In 2013, he suffered a stroke and from then on was wheelchair-bound. Despite his ailing health, he announced his intention to run for a fifth term. This sparked protests across the country, which snowballed into weekly demonstrations on a scale never seen before in Algeria. We've removed Bouteflika from power, but now the rest of the government has to go. Although he lived much of his life in the public eye, little is known about his private life. Official records mention no wife or children. And the last time the public saw the man who held the presidency for 20 years was his resignation in 2019.